how to quickly create organic shapes using just a single template. Hello everyone, in this video I would like to show you a problem that designers often face when creating more complex themes, where they need to have um, a lot of organic shapes and it's often very time consuming. So you need to have a workaround using like a basic template that you can play around with minor changes and automatically have them create unique shapes uh, look organic and they look different each uh, from each other so there's thousands of ways how to do it different examples but the main concept are always the same you start with something a basic template and then you start playing with the available tools so let me just show you uh, how to explain without showing it so i'm actually going to take here what i'm doing here i took a basic cube i'm taking two vertices that i'm going to chamfer so i'm selecting just two vertices uh, one um, a diagonal from the other and I go to the chamfer tool now the chamfer tool will allow me to go about half so it's 49 half of it this size here is 100 a cube and okay so once I did this what the chamfer actually did is cut in this piece over here made this flat uh, added this flat surface and the same thing over here but because it needed to cut in from all sides it needed to create this triangular mess over here to connect everything to keep it manifold and this structure I can play with the structure I'll show you how quickly I can use this to create something so I'm going to make a few copies um, I'm gonna make a copy let's say just first one copy and I'm going to move it let's say over here okay so playing with this copy when do without changing anything I'm gonna go to the round objects uh, tool and I'm simply going to round that okay so I can round it a little bit as much as I need to make it look but you can already see you can also play with the roundness like how much you round the same shape could be round with different levels so let's say around this to number three it looks relatively fine and this gives me kind of a if i turn off the vertex mode kind of a you know basic shape of a stone um something like that okay so now let's see if i'm gonna use the same thing and i can take this i'll make another copy and now i'm going to make a little changes to this copy let's turn on back the wireframe mode so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to go to the add the details mode and i'm going to remove these extra triangles because actually we can keep it as quads so we're removing all of these extra triangles uh, also here also here so just removing a few triangles here that was created and obviously you can see i can i can kind of randomly remove or add edges wherever i want but in this case i just kind of removed a few of them and with this minor changes just removed a little bit if i'm going to round now here the same thing using number three and if you preview you can already see that these shapes actually look differently they're not the same um, it's you know it's similar but it still looks organic you can see they're not exactly the same shape and obviously the more start playing will be different now let's take a look at this one um, i'll take this shape and what i'm going to do now here is i'm going to go to add the details as well and i'm going to let's say uh, use the collapse option i'm going to collapse it both so i'm going to take this edge that is not beveled and i'm going to lift it up here a little bit and i'll do the same thing over here so it's kind of i do both so it's basically snapping in the center so it gives it kind of this angle over here and i can make a copy of this of this shape as well one of them i can remove some edges one not or add edges kind of just playing with these examples the ideas so i can go now around objects and let's say round it like this and now you have a different type of shape and now let's go to this in this case let's say add a little bit remove some details so i'm going to remove here and then here i'm removing actually you know different concepts that i removed before you can just kind of play with these details and it's a limit how much you can remove um, if you have this on keep manifold it will allow you to remove only manifold options if you turn it off you can remove anything but then you're on your own you need to know what you're doing and how to fix it back um, but nevertheless that's um, kind of the idea over here so let's go around objects again and i'm reviewing it and over here so you can see we have this is also like it's it's similar to this but it's not the same you can clearly see they look organic it's different and obviously i can do now the same idea just um, even simply by rounding them more i can get different examples so each of them so let's say if i'm do now around objects i already round the trees so let's round it now a little bit more or initially i could have rounded more and the more you start playing with this they will look differently so 
that's mostly the idea. So here, what you see over here is what I did is I, I kind of got, if you need to organize, uh, let's say if I do something like this or even smooth shader to make it look better, uh, you can see you have like four different stones here. If you organize them, that look um, similar, yet they look organic. And it took, you know, just two, three minutes to create them with minor details. Now, the idea here is that you can play with different shapes and different stuff. Uh, but there's something you can do. You can also go to the sculpting mode and, and start kind of uh, adjusting some of them um, with adding some more details. I now have enough details here. And you can just start playing and kind of make it a little bit more organic and play and do stuff like that. So that's basically the concept what you do when you make create a shape. So you have seen people create like entire scenes, entire things that has a lot of minor details. Um, rarely do that's the someone designing each of them individually would really think if they're organic you just come up with some a few templates that you're going to use and then you use these type of tools around object sculpting and add the details and you just modify and play with them in some cases you can make them smooth shaders so they will look different in some cases you want to add uh, textures or whatever you do but this is basically how you do it okay i hope this tip was helpful and let me know if you want me to show anything else. Thank you. Bye.